and thanks for joining you're welcome back to the channel in a previous video you saw how you can easily add additional storage to your linux servers so we went through the process of creating a new file system a new partition and formatting that with ext4 we mounted that and ensured that it would be able to persist reboot by modifying the etc fs tab file in this video we're going to take that a step further which is the second part of this by looking at logical volume manager that's lvm there are three main components to understand with lvms so the first one is the physical volume that's pv second one is the volume group and then on top of that is lvm physical volume is being created from the drives that you already have so you connect a physical drive you create a physical volume from that then from the available physical volume you create a volume group which is like a pool of storage that a logical volume will be created on top so let's just go straight into it first let's as always let's check what do we have lsbl here so the drives you are seeing here uh, vdb has a part we've used this vdb1 a partition that we created in the previous video so we mounted that on mnt data so that's it so now we're going to use a different drive so let's use vdc for this logical volume management so these are raw disks that has been uh, that, that that have added to the server <clears throat> so physical drive first we create a physical volume so the command for that let me clear this is okay lsbl here first the command for that is pv create so we are trying to create a physical volume so pv create what device do we want to use vdc in this case we've got that drive already hit enter you can see physical volume dev vdc successfully created right so we have dev vdc how do we verify we can use pvs pv physical volume show so physical volume you have a list of that this is the one we've created just now right so this is uh dev device vdc it's lvm and then it's the whole it's the entire device 20 gigs you can see 20 uh, gigs on that volume group you can see it's blank so we get to that to get more information on that you can use pv display so physical volume display uh, before that let me clear this pv display hit enter you get a lot more information beyond just the size so you have the name uh, device first pv name this the name so uh, vda this is the first one then the one we created that's the one we're interested in so yeah this one the dev device vdc is a new uh, volume this the size and you get a lot more uh, information with pv pv display so we have a fiscal volume now we need to create a volume group from that fiscal volume so same sort of pattern is uh, vg volume group create then we give it an, a name so volume group create we want to create a volume group that's called let's call that data volume group data data vg right so if you're calling that data vg then we're creating a volume group on an existing fiscal volume so vg create data and then our fiscal volume is dev v vdc so uh we if you hit enter now volume group vg uh, data vg successfully created there is the concept of use uh, using uh, extent sizes so use the default extent sizes for mb that's what has been used here but you can change that if you want you can if, to change the extent size this essentially depends on your use case so while creating v, vg create you will specify the size the extent size size so um in, in, for example if you want to use uh, 16 mb for that you 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 use vg create 
dash s which is the size 16 m or 16 yeah 16 megabytes for that before specifying the name so data vg and then you specify the device so i'm just showing you that just in case uh, you don't want to go with the default now we have a volume group that's been created to check how do we do that vgs volume group show see so the volume group is data vg that's our volume group similar to the physical uh, volume which is uh, pv display vgs has vg display so vg display hit enter yeah you have a lot more information about that so the name of the volume group let's look for yes this hours this is the one uh, we just created so vg name it's data vg the format is lvm2 uh, read write uh, it's resizable yes the vg status it's resizable remember that's one of the advantages the benefits of using lv uh, lvia it's that flexibility that it gives you it allows you to resize your storage so so we have we have our volume group we have we have created we we have created a physical volume we have created a volume group now the next step is to create the logical volume so we use <coughs> lv lv create for that what size do we want to create this logical volume remember we have a physical volume and a volume group that is 20 gigs in size so lv create we let's create a size a volume uh, group of size 15 gigs right 15 and then the name we can call that data lv a, a, a logical volume so logical volume 15 gigs size data lv and then the vg name the vg that we have the volume the data the, the volume group that we have is data vg you can see from here right so it's data vg so hit enter you see logical volume data lv created so same way lv s logical volume show so we have data data lv which has a volume group of uh, which is part of the volume group data uh, vg and this is the size of that so yeah now we have a physical physical volume volume group and then logical volume what's next we need to create a file system on this so we can use make fs that's make file system we can create we can use uh, the ext4 on that and then you ha we have to specify the entire uh, path so for that drive so the device what's the vg it's data vg right and then what's the volume group is data uh, v uh, not vo vo data volume group data lv the logical volume right and we have we have we are creating ext4 file system on this so hit enter this has been created now we need to create a mount point for where where we're going to mount this ex this new file system that we just created so mk a mount point is just directory so make a directory let me clear this let me clear this so to create the mount point make make direct mk dir we can call this uh, data data store it can be anything so data store right so we have data store so now we we need to mount this drive this new the volume group so what's the the path it's first what's the data uh, data volume group we're mounting this volume group data vg and data the logical volume data lv to this destination data store slash we've mounted this the volume group uh, data vg slash um, data lv we, we've mounted that in data store so 
next is we can verify df df dash h we can see that that's been mounted here so def um, data vg data lv has been mounted on it's a logical volume that's why you see the mapper so it's mapping it's a logical volume on data store anyways similar to what we did with the fs tab in uh, the previous video in terms of ensuring that this persists reboot so we can do block id bl um blk block id and we are looking for we can grab for the logical volume data lv data lv which is our logical volume just so we can grab the uuid so let me copy yeah let me copy the uid yes copy and then we can edit uh etsy fs tab F etsy fs tab file, uh, file hit enter i for insert mode if you're using vim you can use any text any text editor of course so we want to add the uuid which is equal let me paste what i've copied then the mount point, the, the new mount point we created is data store, I suppose. Yes, data store. What's the file system? EXT, EXT4, defaults, defaults as well. Escape, write, and quit. Let's remount all the drives to make sure we don't have any errors. Fine, we don't. And uh, DF-H should have uh, that's it that drive 